Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 6th episode of Radiant. Now, last episode, we had made our way to our destination. We got scammed by a cat, despite almost warning to be wary of that cat. Apparently we didn't listen. Uh, not that, not that most of the characters mind being put into massive debt, because it's just kind of fun on the dock, and, you know, who cares about dock, I guess, is the sentiment I kind of got from that. But they also were able to ward off the, uh, the Inquisition, which is good. And we met the guy that we were looking for, like, in a, in a pot or something, so... That's also good. I think the episode ended off with us kind of just setting up for us to prove our worth to him or something. I think it was something like that. But anyway, I guess we'll just get into the episode and find out. Three, two, one, click. Oh, my volume was lower than it should have been. Okay, fixed. Yeah, sorcerers. Talk about unappreciated. You think teachers are unappreciated in our world? Just check out sorcerers. In this world. Artemis, that's what it was called. The Sorcerer of Paradise. Yeah, but we drove it away. That's why they even bothered coming there. We already knew it would be trouble. <laughs> Stupid cat. Not you. You're you're cool. You're you're a good kitty. You wouldn't scam anyone. That's the man, Yaga. You did a much better job recapping it than I did. Good job, narrator. Millie, good morning. How are you doing? Yes, those people. Are, are you okay, Millie? I actually kind of forgot she was voiced by Yuki Aoi. But I, I'm reminded pretty quickly. Ah, good thing that window was open. You interrupted the party, Seth. Too close. <laughs> I guess she's excited about that. I'm sure that will go wonderfully. <laughs> she seemed excited about the idea, so yeah, should be fun. I always love how cheery Melly is. You know, until her switch is flipped and her personality changes. I like that one too, but I'm just saying I like the cheeriness of this form. And meanwhile, Alma's just all alone. <laughs> and the kid she spent so much time with is just gone. Found his sub of waifu and left the nest. Still looking forward to meeting you. And, you know, some of the other characters as well. <laughs> Utopia. Like what the lyrics say, Utopia as Utopia is visible on the screen. Utopia being the name of the song, I guess. <laughs> At sunlight. I'm sh but, uh, I look forward to seeing Seth attempt to learn magic from Melly. Drops of friendship, Melly. Well, you know, I kind of need to know magic to, to be a good sorcerer, so. Yes, I know her well. Big poofy here. And I did, so she never led me astray. Is my letter of recommendation. Yeah, he's like one of the 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 top top sorcerers. Rude. Ugh. I was worried he might rip it in half. I didn't think he would, you know, inflame it. Immolate it, whatever you want to call it. Clearly. So we gotta get some strength. I mean, Melly was clearly there for that, so why are we explaining this to her? What do you think of my punch? Oh. I first thought something dropped onto his head. Yeah, you just punched a tree. What kind of magic is that? 
some kind of brawler magician hybrid build. Wow, what is this, a video game? <laughs> Level up and come back to me. Well, she can't do that until she changes personality. <laughs> I mean, that's trickier said than, it's easier said than done. Because I really don't think she can use it in this form. She can teach you defensive magic. Yeah, exactly. You have to stress her out to get her to change. Yeah, which is still really useful. I mean, it keeps you alive. I mean, he said get stronger. Stronger does not necessarily mean better at offensive magic, I don't think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're adorable. It doesn't matter. It was cute. The explanation was cute, so I call it good. <laughs> She's not the best teacher, I'll admit. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's, it's all cool. Don't worry, I still love you, Melly. Oh, I'm more than happy to hear that. I'm sure you have a wonderful idea. What? What are those guys? Wow, dude. A rose by any other name would smell as sweets. And yeah, who are you trying to hit on, Doc? Uh... I don't think that's what he meant to do. I mean, I'd give Melly a rose, but... That's mostly because she's voiced by my favorite voice actress. So you're moving your position there, kitty. I think that's the woman he wanted to give the rose to. Miss Melba. Yes, hello, Miss Melba. You seem very nice, and I like your tiny hat. That's Seth. He's a protagonist, so you should get to know him better. So I've heard. Well, so did you. I mean, you might have been here before, but... Still... I would love to, especially if you wear a maid cafe. Made it wear a maid outfit. And now that I think about it, yeah, I think that might be what we see in the very end of the of the ED. This that's part of the place. Don't don't be violent. Oh no, my rose, I was going to give that to her. Why not? I guess that's just the normal thing. Are you guys all tuck it out now? She's allowed to have, you know, a husband at some point. And Doc is okay, I guess. It's not your fault. Yeah, he's used to pain and suffering, as sad as it is to say. He's just also got a lot of dead. Oh, nice. That's good, because we're kind of in dead. And that was a very quick and delicious meal, I'm sure. <laughs> that I did. It, it kind of sucked. Yeah, that's that's our goal. That's our one piece. It's real, you shut up. And he is a child. <laughs> yeah, she's all supportive of it, so that might change your tune a bit. Man, how smug can he look? 
It, I, I guess he's still hungry after eating the food. <laughs> yeah. I was already kind of making that joke, Melly. You kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> yeah, but you're you can help in other ways. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> yeah, so you might be able to help a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't I don't blame you, Doc. They've really screwed you over. There you go. Now you can't do anything. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That should have an effect. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if my love interest says I should do something, I'll I'll say how high. I'm sure. Oh, her specialty. Sounds great. <laughs> oh, poor Doc. I feel like there's going to be a theme for this show. Just poor Doc. Oh god, what was in that? Now I'm definitely curious. I'm really curious now. What did you put in that? Yeah, but what makes it special? Oh, I mean, I eat roast beef top ramen, so... You know, because I'm a poor person and that's generally my diet. Yeah, but I mean... I'd still drink it. If a cute girl makes it for me, I'll, I'll drink it. Wow, it even looks like Rainbow. Uh, drink it all, man. You can do it. It's your special tea. Lots of love. I gotta go. There's your escape, I guess. I really just, it bugs me, bugs me a little bit those hats don't just fall off, because unless there's something tying it around, it, that would just fall off. Or if there's glue on it. That always bugs me with tiny hats like that. I like the tiny hat in general, I just wish it didn't look like it defied gravity, but I guess in an anime about magic, I can forgive it more. But even without, even in shows without magic, that still happens. Because you thought with your lower head, that's why. <laughs> oh, Melly, I would do my best for you. I don't have to be happy about it. At least that's something. Man, that smile. Never follow any instructions that start that way. She's not here for any reason in particular. She's just watching. Yes, imagine yourself punching with lots of fire and explosions. Because I know punching is your favorite form of magic. My hands are to fall asleep, boots. <laughs> Did not go well. Well, it's your first time. You can't expect to get it up right away. Just keep trying. Just, you know, visualize and use the Fantasia and all that.
Uh, just yell it louder, that would probably help. Oh, here we go. This seems like something. <laughs> you drop that meteor. <laughs> or drop the Doc in this case. Team Rock. Wow, Doc. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Or Team or Terminator, I guess. <laughs> I just... Doc deserves to just go be able to take a nap. He's just kind of the serious as punching bag. Well, can you blame him? He's had a horrible time since he got here. His, his attempt to romance the girl he likes didn't even go very well. And then she screwed him over more. Oh. Harsh. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Only if I get to pound your body too. <laughs> I swear she looks like two, two or three years older when she ch changes like that. Who are you guys anyway? You look like you jumped out of a children's cartoon. Yeah, that's what they're doing. We went widescreen for a second. Uh, rest in peace, Doc. You deserve it. Well, she's trying to teach you magic now. Seth, be sure to take notes. Come on, don't be that way. <laughs> She's just trying to teach you magic. Hey, don't you want to learn? <laughs> yeah, don't be such a pussy. Okay. Oh, not the glove. Oof. Yeah, more property damage. Yay, Doc will be happy about that. Yeah, so you might want to do the same. Or die. <laughs> I do quite like Melly. Both personalities. But yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself, Melly, and he's gonna save you. You have to actually use your meteor drop. Yeah, because you actually have a real concrete reason to do so. Instead of just practice. Good job. <laughs> you saw that, right? You saw that, right? I did a good job. Please praise me. And there we go. Back to normal. I love that smile before she switched, though. That smile that looked like she was proud of him. <laughs> yeah, you did some damage, Melly. It's okay, though. Doc will pay for it. <laughs> I could never hate you, Melly. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, you tell her, Seth. She did kind of help there. In fact, she helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, good job, Melly. Pat, pat. At least give her a head pat, if not a hug, dude. Yeah, I'm sure he'll want to find out all about that. Uh, it'd be funny if it wasn't so sad. You impressed now, old man? I'll take that as the highest praise I'm going to get from you. Oof. Right to the face. He's, he's learning. He's getting there. Okay, sure, but do we know where it is? Well, they're not the protagonist, so...
Yes. 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 something else every day. Squats, I think it was. We're gonna, we're gonna make a man out of you. Are you gonna hit him again or? <laughs> Ow. Good thing he has at least one eye that he can see out of. Guess just. Oh, he blocked the attack. Yes. You need to fix that glove. I think he's ready for that. He might whine about it in the future, but for now, he's definitely hyped for it. Deja vu. Why? He even has the hard pupils. And I think she had to like fix them up. I think I saw some bandages or tape on them or something. Uh, yeah, off of the head again. I'm sorry to break your toys. Uh, why? Lend me your house. I probably gotta phrase that better. You just say, let me stay with you. <laughs> Poor Doc. I mean, yeah, live with Melly makes the most sense. I don't think she'd refuse. Nice. Just don't break my stuff anymore. <laughs> Cohabitation. Definitely making some progress with this ship, I guess. <laughs> Man, she is just so cute. <laughs> Yes. Okay, thank you. I was also curious what that was about. She has a weird hobby, I guess. I'm not, I'm not gonna judge, you know. <laughs> oh, that phrase. <laughs> the way she said that. It's, it's my friend. And you killed him twice. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Seth. Thanks for nothing. That's sad. I guess she doesn't have any friends. So it exp explains why she's excited to have Seth, you know, come over and be her new roommate. She's definitely an innocent girl because a lot of anime girls would have made a few comments there like, uh, saying something along the lines of, you better not peek at me in the shower or anything like that, you know, made some kind of comment like that. So, the fact that she didn't say anything like that or have any concerns at all, it's... It says a lot about her character. Not that Seth would do anything like that, He's he doesn't have any interest in that. So it's not like it would be a concern, of course, but... I checked real quick to see if uh, if they had their ages on the uh, minimalist page, but no. So I'm not sure how old either of them are supposed to be, really. But I would assume at least 14. Although, Millie's hair really does make her look older to me, weirdly enough. The sewer dweller, that sounds like fun. 
But yeah, definitely confirms that she's the one at the end of the pathway in the ED. But yeah, that was the sixth episode of Radiance. And I thought it was a you know, pretty good episode. We uh, we got to try to learn some magic, Meteor Drop specifically. And that's what the episode really revolved around. Seth wanted to learn some magic. Well, he wanted Saga, or Yaga, whatever his name was. Uh, he wanted him to be his, you know, his sensei. So he had to prove his worth to him, basically. And he wanted Melly to teach him magic, because Melly, you know, knows magic, defensive magic, and offensive magic when she switches gears. But, you know, he wanted to specifically learn offensive magic, but she can't do that in her normal form, so that was never going to happen. I felt a little bit bad when she was not able to really, to really help him, even though she wanted to. Yeah, because she wants to help. She wants to be useful, so that was a little bit sad. We, uh, we eventually moved over to having a talk with, uh, with Doc's love interest. He was practicing, you know, confessing to her, you know, has, has his rose and everything. We he kind of interrupted that, so it was pretty funny when he, like, well, instinctively, like, he tried to hand over the rose to Seth and Melly, so I was, well, mostly Melly. I think it was more directed towards, but that was not who he was going for. I don't think he, I don't think that's a ship that has any viability. I think, I think it was the other lady. Uh, what was her name? Miss Mel, Miss Melro? Uh, Meldrin? Miss Melba. Okay. Miss Melba. So she seems nice. She's not very good at making her special tea, it seems like. She probably doesn't put the best ingredients in there. Uh, like, to get that color, like, I can only imagine what goes in there. I mean, I know love is in there, so that's that goes without saying, but I don't think that's the only thing in there. I think there may be a couple other uh, unknown ingredients mixed in there. But basically, the real point of this scene was to get Doc on board with helping Seth. I mean, he can only help him so much because he just kind of you know, reads the grimoires and everything, everything like that. He's not like he's like it's not like he's a real sorcerer the same way that Melly and Seth are. So that's what he all he could really do. But he was convinced to help because his love interest convinced him to because that's that's pretty typical. It's like I don't want to do that. Oh, I think it would be great if you did that. Yeah, well, I agree. Let's let's go do that. Just I've seen scenes like that in fiction a lot, so no real surprises there. So it all worked out in the end, and his debt just keeps racking up higher and higher because that's just his life now. His poor, sad existence as this was has become. But yeah, he taught him. Well, he attempted to teach him to use a spell. It did not work too well. He just kind of failed a lot there. And I like him, Melly, just kind of sitting around and watching the whole time. But eventually she did help. She was able to switch gears into her offensive form, kept attacking Seth, and then eventually triggered him to actually use it out of necessity to save her life from being crushed from above. And we had a very satisfied, you know, proud smile from her face afterwards. And then switch back to normal. And Melanie was like, oh no, did I did I do this? Did I break stuff? Did I attack you? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But it's all good. It's all good because it did help him out. So that was great to see. Because I was so sad that Melly couldn't help out. I'm uh, The flip side of that, I'm really happy that she was able to in the end. Just, just it's, it's nice. It's great to see. And it seemed like, yeah, that was enough. Yaga now wants to become his teacher, and it's not going to be easy. He also talks about Radiant like it's a very difficult thing to pursue. Like, it's something people have tried before, but none have succeeded. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how Seth does. I have faith in him, though. I think that protagonist plot armor will serve him well going forward. He also decided that he wants to live with Melee. I mean, who wouldn't want to live with Melly, really? I mean, she's cute, she's nice, she would just be pleasant company to have around. And she's clearly desperately a need of friends, so I'd say it's a win-win all around. So I'd say it's a great idea, just a perfect idea, really. I mean, did you see her face when he had made the offer? Like, she was just ecstatic to have him around. So that was great to see. And me and Wild Dog would just suck in a tree, because that's just what he does. So yeah, hopefully that works out well. They're now roommates. I don't know how well they'll get along as roommates. You know, some people just don't work as roommates as well as others, so hopefully that works out well. Hopefully we don't butt heads too much. But, uh, we'll see. I guess we'll see. But like I said, overall, I thought this was a pretty good episode. It's definitely... Yaga definitely has some thoughts on Seth and his, uh, his hand, specifically. You know, he just kind of likes to, to punch, and, and the glove needs to be fixed. That That also needs to happen. Let's see anything else worth mentioning throughout the episode? Just some cute faces for Melly, which I've said. Uh, just Doc giving a thousand cups of tea that he tried to avoid drinking, understandably. Let's see, uh, yeah. Just I wonder. I am curious how long we're gonna stay here. That's the, the thing that's on my mind. 
Because, I mean, this is obviously a very important town. It's like the paradise for sorcerers. So it wouldn't surprise me if it really was our home base. I mean, it seems like uh, Melly literally lives here. Like, that's where her house is. So obviously this will be a place where we can return to a lot. But I am just curious if we'll just stay here for, like, a while. And when we'll leave and where we'll go. Because I don't think we'll go straight from here to Radiant. Like, okay, I think we're trained up enough. Let's let's go to Radiant. It's right here. Let's Let's pack up and go. I feel like we'll go somewhere else first. Like, it'll be, like... A journey and adventure like once he feels like he's trained a bit we'll start to go on an actual adventure together and improve along the way and eventually get there i feel like that's the way it would go i'm just curious exactly when and how that will go really just how long we're gonna stay here before that becomes a thing how good seth will have to will have to get before he feels confident enough in pursuing this radiant goal because he clearly does not think he's ready yet he straight up called out alma for bringing him like a an amateur a completely worthless beginner that he has to build up from the ground. So I'm curious how good he'll have to get, basically. And there's definitely potential there, so I'm looking forward to seeing where how much he grows and stuff. And hopefully, you know, Melly can learn as well. I want to see her improve as well. That'd be cool. Maybe her regular form will embrace offensive magic a bit more because she straight up said that she wasn't very good at it. So it'd be nice if she can make some progress there. So hopefully she does. And, um, and if Doc gets any more bandages, man, he just is not going to be able to see anymore. So hopefully, hopefully he can, like, catch a break. And Doc needs to catch a break, really. He just, he does not deserve the suffering he's had to go through in this show. Like, he had, like, a one instance in the whole show where he irritated me a little bit, you know, trying to throw, throw Seth to the wolves to save himself. But I think he's more than paid for that at this point. I don't want him to see him suffer anymore. But that's just me. So... Yeah. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.